Okay, I want to show you a relationship that I really like between the sequence of odd numbers and the sequence of squares. First of all, the sequence of odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, the next number in that sequence is 7. After that, the next number in the sequence is 9. So when you fill in the numbers in a sequence like that, you're using what's called inductive reasoning. Let's go to the sequence of squares, 1, 4, 9. Next number in that sequence, 16. Next number after that, 25. And so again, we're filling that in by using inductive reasoning and noticing that this is 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, so on and so forth. Okay, so it turns out that there's a relationship between these two sequences, which is something that I find very uh, interesting in mathematics, so I'm going to show it to you. Well, the first odd number and the first square are exactly the same, so I'm going to say 1 is equal to 1. If I add the first two odd numbers, 1 plus 3, look what I get. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, and that's the second number in the sequence of squares. Let's add the first three odd numbers. 1 plus 3 plus 5. What do we have? 4 plus 5, 9. No coincidence. That's the third number in the sequence of squares. I'll add the first 4. 1 plus 3 plus 5, plus 7, what do you think you get? Of course, 16. Add the first four odd numbers, get the fourth square. So the fourth number in the sequence of squares. What happens if I add the first five odd numbers? I'll get 25, the fifth number in the sequence of squares. So it's a great relationship. Add the first two odds, get the second square. First three odds, get the third square, so on and so forth. So that's one of the things that drew me to mathematics in the first place, when I would see things that initially seemed unrelated and find out through mathematics that there was some really close relationship between the two things. I always liked that, and it drew me towards mathematics. I see things like this, and I think to myself, you know what, everything's okay.